Hello everyone, and I am playing Jedi Survivor. Now, I know this is long overdue, because Jedi Survivor came out last year, in April 2023, but I don't care. I'm here. So basically, I'm going to be showing you my gameplay, gameplay, and I'll be commentating over it now. The problem is, is that I got a bit too excited playing Jedi Survivor that I forgot to basically record the first part of Coruscant. Yeah, it's Coruscant. And I forgot. Anyways, it, so I'll just be showing you a bunch of cutscenes which I got from the internet of Coruscant because I forgot to record my gameplay of it. When you yeah. get under into the lower levels of Coruscant. It's just also amazing as well. It gives me true cyberpunk vibes as well, like Blade Runner and Blade Runner vibes for real. I mean cyberpunk is a genre in sci-fi, but anyways, this game is spectacular. It looks perfect just from the um, visuals alone and yeah. Uh, the security droid reminds me of the one from Rogue One. Uh, I forgot the droid's name from Rogue One, but I, I like the I like the terrorist. You gonna let him call you that? Damn the disrespect! Nah, I wouldn't allow that. I wouldn't allow that, honestly. For a second, I saw that was the Grand Inquisitor from Rebels, but then I realized it takes place like a week after Obi-Wan Kenobi this game, so yeah. Just a normal day for Cal, just being a badass. That's all. <gasps> BD-1! Hi BD-1. Bro's mewing. Looks like some Giga Chad. Bro looks like a Baron from June. He's gonna betray us. I bet this senator has more credits. Yep. Everything went perfectly well. Ooh, this is fine, honestly. Cal can get out of this. Ah. Ah. Okay. Um, alright, I just love, by the way, I just love uh, using the cable things when swinging, it's just so cool, it's, it's like uh, the Spider-Man games all over again, the swinging using the cable, so yeah, it's just so fun to do that, and gives a lot of platforming opportunity, creativity and platforming, you, you get what I mean, but yeah. Well, the helicopter crash, we're fine. Next up is the boss fight. <laughs> Hi, we're gonna finish you off for real this time. Now, if you're wondering why the outfit changes, because I was using a cutscene from like another video, that's why. Just wanted to let you know. But this is my gameplay now. Of my fight with the ninth sister. I think in this one this is my third attempt. Right? And the the ninth sister isn't really hard. You just, really hard. It's just a simple uh parry and dodge dodge and then gotta deplete her block meter down to zero and then you just attack, get a few hits in. So yeah, the reason why it, I got me I had, I'm on my side attempt, it's mainly because of um, just me being silly, really. I think I'd be here on the fourth attempt, which you'll see uh, next, but I was basically like washing this fight. I was going crazy this fight. It's just unfortunate um, mistakes that were made, so yeah. So as you see, 
I'm playing on Jedi Master, so the parrying window is really low. It takes a lot of practice to parry, okay? The meditation training in Fallen Order, I did lots of practice on that. And yeah, so we unlock the next cutscene. Noise. Now I like this second stage of the fight where the third sister just basically uses the force to try and uh, predict our moves, right? And so what you're supposed to do here is you're basically supposed to let her force pull you towards her and you need to parry her attacks. If her attacks glow red, you dodge, rinse, repeat until her block meters to zero and then you just attack then just repeat 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 and yeah i was doing well here of course some few mistakes i sped it up so that you know you wouldn't have to uh watch the entire thing like just on one time speed but you see i didn't mess up it's really you need to um make sure that you had you dodge the unblockable so red Attacks and block parry the normal attacks because then you'll just mess up and it'll take longer for you to defeat the ninth sister. So yeah, it takes it takes a lot, and especially on Jedi Master. Like I don't know what Jedi Grandmaster is like, so I managed to reach this cutscene, which is cool. Because watch this, cow splits his saber into two dual wielding lightsabers, which is so sick. Now this is, uh, I think this is the third phase, the third and final phase of the fight, where you basically just have to use uh, the dual lightsabers, which is sweet. Like, it's so fast, and you can keep on attacking and attacking with such speed, and you can keep on parrying as well. You have, like, less power. You have a lower block meter, but you parry so good, good with it. But yeah, because um, it's my first time using the dual wielding sabers, it took me a while. Like, yeah, it took me a while, and I definitely messed up there. Look at me, I'm like 1 HP, so you can tell I just went gamer mode and just focused properly. Trying not to uh, get hit and trying to finish off the ninth sister. So yeah, this fight was really intense because I was this close to finishing off the ninth sister. Sister, and I only managed to defeat her on my fourth attempt. So you'll see that I'll I'll basically lose on this one. So, yeah, yeah, it's frustrating. I was doing well, skipping forward. You can see that now I her health's like really, really low and my health's still healthy. I have good health bar. Not like before, but yeah. So I didn't uh, try doing the auto parry. I tried doing it but I wasn't registering so I just st stuck with um, normal parries for now. I used it, boom, that's so cool. And I was so happy when I used it and I was kind of pissed because I was like all, it, all I needed to do was auto parry and then that's it, end of fight. Which is kind of frustrating. I replaced it with the single lightsaber because the double bladed lightsaber I kept it for like crowd control and stuff it will become useful later on. But yeah, that's it. I I just love the environment which they made for Coruscant. Like this shot right here. Wow, it just oh, it's so cool. Honestly. And here I get to uh, try out the dual lightsaber outside of the fight, right? You can tell how quick 
quick and electric. The jewel lightsaber are Look at those combos. Nah, those are some nasty combos, bro. This one thing I like about the dual wielding lightsabers is the fact that you can parry two opponents with two different lightsabers. Like as you saw there, I parried the blaster bolt and the stormtrooper, and I parried the stormtrooper's attack at the same time. Which is pretty neat. You say because like it also helps a lot with like dealing with two or more enemies so yeah now we meet up with our comrades boat and bravo and we have to get to the man which is surrounded by the empire yay not the valet service i was hoping for bravo what guys it's showtime The fact that you can call on your allies to fight, to join the fight, right? Like, you can use, you just press R1 and circle, I think they uh, attack and then if attack the enemy you choose, then if you use like R1 and square or something, I'm not sure, you can actually use uh, the force to confuse your enemies and trick them like make them attack their other other enemies but yeah yeah as as you see here I used it to uh, confuse the enemy and attack its ally attack the purge trooper and the uh, scout trooper and here's me falling off like Darth Maul. Now this is a problem. I am getting chased. I'm getting jumped. Right? It's just me. Me being jumped by these troopers. <laughs> and so while I was getting a big down on the edge, I dodged in order to make sure that I don't fall again and I don't die. I took out the uh, Scout Trooper, so that I could go for the Purge Trooper. Jewel Light to get serious, and then he just steals my kill. Great. This is Pod Racing. I don't understand how TIE Fighters can't target, can't hit the small, the Mantis, which is like huge, but can hit like small ships. And they always fall for that. A uh, trick where oh we can just go behind you and boom. Go off, yeah, yeah. No, Boat's part of the Empire, isn't he? Bye, Bravo. Bravo. And we did it. We made it out. Hooray! Oh, that's the recordings of the journeys from Fallen Order. Bruh, it looks so goofy you know, seeing them that I break out an old like this. here. Like, really goofy. Well, what do you think? Merit. Merit's not even it's good. eating. It's good. You nah, you you're capping, bro. You're not even eating. You're, 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 you're just swirling it around. Bruh. Ow. A Riz Master. A Jedi Riz Master. Could be a good place to lay low. If anyone knows how to fix up the mantis, it's Grease Dritus. Let's go. We're gonna meet Grease again. We can make Wait, it. what? No, we're gonna see Grease again. Yes. Let's go. Honestly, my English is not Englishing. Ah oh, man. Well, I'm gonna so end it here. We Wait for the next video. Oh, for we're going to Cobo. See you guys.